Hello, so this is gonna be a short little video on GitHub Classrooms and how I use it for some of my classes. So the screen here is the GitHub um, Classrooms landing page. Sorry, this is kind of a mouthful. And so here are all the different classrooms I have. Uh, and so one nice thing is I can show only my active ones. So you can put a classroom into archive and kind of get it out of your way and kind of freezes that organization or that classroom. But uh, let's talk about what Classroom Let's gives you. The big advantage um, for me is these assignments. So each of these assignments is a repository for the students. So what happens is you create one of these assignments and you get this uh, classroom link that you can just drop into my courses. So here I have a classroom link for one of these projects. And what's really great is students can click on this link and it will generate a repository for them depending on kind of settings you determined when you created the assignment. But they just have to click on a link uh, kind of follow through these steps. I do provide students with a video walking them through, uh, making sure that they have uh, logged into a GitHub account, make sure that they've uh, picked which student they are in the classroom, and then um, they get onto their repository. So it makes it really easy to uh, for them to not have to worry about uh, putting the starter code, making sure that the professor and any TAs are on the repository. GitHub does that automatically for them. They just have to click on the link and be signed into GitHub. Uh, kind of jump in showing you kind of like what is, what kind of assignment you can create. Uh, you can create individual or group assignments. I haven't used group assignments in a while, so I don't know if any of this has changed, but it did in the past use any teams you've created in an organization. And you can have them either, have the students individually um, form teams or be randomly assigned into teams. Well, I typically just use individual assignments. It also gives you admin control over the repositories. So you can determine if the repos start off at private or public and whether or not the students have admin access. Um, so I normally don't give them admin access. Um, and then at the end of the semester, I give them admin access. That way they just can't transfer the repository to something else that I don't have permission to. Uh, you can also, one really nice thing that I like a lot is provide a template repository for starter code for any assignments, if you have them. So for this class, I have some fancy stuff that I've done with WebGL and GitHub Classrooms for Unity. And so I don't uh, want students, I don't really expect students to be able to set that up with everything else they have to deal with the class. So I just have this templated repo. They click on the link. That repo is automatically generated with all of my starter code. And they just have to start doing stuff in Unity. They don't have to worry about setting all that up because I've set it up for them in that repository. So that's assignments. Next fun thing is students. So students lets you create a classroom roster. Now, um, RIT doesn't have, I don't believe, um, the learning um, outcomes tool. Uh, what is it? The learning management system that GitHub Classroom is uh, synced up to. So I have to manually um, create a uh, CSV file for my courses of all the students. And so I, that's why I have uh, the student's name and um, RIT ID 
according to my courses. So whatever that is. <clears throat> um, and that way uh, they can have a GitHub account. So here in blue is uh, the student's GitHub username. And then on the top is their uh, name as I found in my courses. So when a student creates or clicks on that, any of the assignment re um, links, the first time it'll ask them to link to any of the um, students. If they don't find themselves, they can just continue without connecting. And then they'll show up on kind of this list of here's, stu here's students that have repository um, that are not linked to a student from my roster. Um, this makes it easy to kind of like know um, if someone either um, needs to be added um, after add drop or um, needs to be removed from the class. Next is um, it lets you set up TAs um, and admins. Um, these are just admins or owners on the organization. <clears throat> so any user on this classroom automatically gets added as an admin to all of the repos generated by any of the assignments. So this is where you make sure, this is how you guarantee that yourself and your TA can see all of the repos and that students don't have to kind of add them later on. So it's kind of nice. And then the last thing I've kind of like mentioned is GitHub Classroom just uses a GitHub organization. So these are where all of the repositories live. So they don't live on your personal GitHub account. They live on this repository or this organization. Um, and so you could search this just like you could search any organization. Um, but yeah, um, the, the link is the biggest thing for me. Um, I don't have to worry about students getting some server code, putting it in the right place, making sure that the, um, they have the right folder structure because uh, I have that from the templated repo. And I also don't have to worry about them adding myself or TAs to their repo so that we can kind of help them out. It's all right there. I can easily just find them, find their um, project, find their repos and get right into looking at their code. So it makes it really easy to find their code and just help them out. <clears throat> 